Hey, what's up guys? I want to make a video review today on uh, Windows 7. A couple things that I've noticed. Um, comments. And just an overall overview of Windows 7. So, uh, hang tight. Alright, so the first thing I noticed was the new taskbar. Originally when I was looking at some of the more beta shots a couple months back, I was noticing, wow, that really looks like crap and I really don't like that. And it, it uh, from some of the functions and the buttons down here, it didn't look very functional, it didn't look very pretty, I thought it looked crap. Um, and I overall just didn't like it. it. I don't know, from what I saw originally. However, um, using it now, I have found that it is one of the most amazing uh, and brilliant docks ever. People say it's takeoff on the Macintosh dock. You know what? I don't care. And actually, personally, I think it's so much better than the Macintosh dock. Um, I personally use Rock Dock, and if you guys don't know what that is, that is, let me wake up my desktop here. This, which is basically like the Macintosh dock, I use that on my desktop PC. So it's great application, rocketdoc.com. Anyways, back to topic, Windows 7. Um, so basically, going to show off some of the new features of this um, taskbar here. So the first thing is launching applications. If I want to launch an application, so say I want to launch Firefox here, I'm going to click, and it's going to open up Firefox for me. Wow, that's really bright. Okay, sorry about that, decided to be bright. Um, so let's say I want to open up my Firefox window. I have this one op open here. So I can either roll down and you'll see I have a little preview here, which is pretty cool. Plus I can close it right from this window. Let's say I want to open up another one. Um, I can go down here and either right click to open up a new menu, or with, this doesn't work quite as well on laptops, but it works great with mouses, is you can flick up and it works extremely well. You, you just roll down and flick up. I'll show you what I'm doing here. Flick up, so I'm just moving up a little bit. It works great in mouses, not that it's not as great on laptops. And I can just click on the application and open up a new window. Okay. I roll down here and I have my two windows. Now what's really cool is I can see um here, I'll open up another one here. And we're gonna go, let's see, MSN.com. Send.com. Typing one hand doesn't work too special. And let's go to interfacelift.com. Interfacelift.com is, is a um, great wallpaper website. That's where I got the backdrop I have right now. So basically, I have three windows open here. Let's say I want to pick which one I have. I go down here, roll over the Firefox icon, and it shows me my three windows. But if I want to see them bigger, I can roll over one roll over the next one, roll over the next one. And it's really easy to find which window I want. Or I can just click on one of them and close them right from there. So it works extremely great. Another great thing is um, if you have a full size mouse you can use the center button to close the window. So if I want to roll over one of those windows I can just use the center button to close that tab. So the next thing I want to do is what happens when I have a program down here that I want to fire but it's not down here in the menu. So I'm going to go up to my music library here. Um, let's open up a file. Here I'm just going to click on, oops, click on a file. And I'm just going to say play and with VLC media player. Okay, so I have VLC media player here. Turn that down a little bit. Um, and as you can see, it popped up a thing of VLC Media Player, but I didn't have this here before. That wasn't there before. Now, if you notice, when I close this, the icon also disappears. So that kind of makes sense. Now, what happens if I want to add an icon? Well, I go over my Start Menu, or however you want to add it. But I'm just going to type in VLC. I found VLC. I'm going to take it, drag it, and just drag it straight down there. Okay? That was extremely simple and I can even move the position of it, move it wherever I want. Then I can obviously fire it from there. Another cool thing you might notice, uh, on, an, on a fired app, um, here, let me see if I can refocus this. On a fired up application, I can roll back and forth and it will give me um, kind of a feedback here. You can see when I roll back and forth, it, it changes. And also, 
since this is a predominantly orange icon, it the background is orange, but since this notepad is predominantly blue, the background is predominantly blue. Now if I have an unfired application, it just has a little light underneath it. But then as soon as I fire it, obviously it brings it up, and I have a full usable thing, actually, out of focus. Anyways, um, so that's that. The next thing is, I found this pretty useful, is adding things, um, kind of main locations on your computer. I'll show you how to do that. So I have my downloads folder here. Let's say I want to add this to the, to the, uh, the taskbar down here. I can take this, drag this down here, um, and it says pin to Windows Explorer to the taskbar. I let go, and over here this popped up, and it says downloads. So when I look, do a little flick up, or right click, and this popped up under the pin section is under downloads. So if I want to add like, uh, let's say my desktop, bring it down here, let go, and that pops up, and it says desktop right there. So I can pin anything anywhere down here, and it also has frequent locations and stuff like that. So there are a lot of options and different miscellaneous things that are extremely useful that you can do with these jump menus that are actually, if you look here with Internet Explorer, also integrate with the history and they integrate with um, the program. This goes, same goes for the start menu that you, if you, if it integrates well with the program, then you can do that. Um, also goes for Windows Media Player. Windows Media Player has a great inter integration. This is actually Windows Media Player 12. Um, I can roll over and I have play, go back, or if I want, I can go here and see here I, it says frequent, cold play. So I can go here, click on cold play, and it'll play everything in by cold play. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, great ease and integration with Windows Media Player. If you also notice, my buttons actually worked up here. Um, quick side fact, um, forgot to mention this, it automatically recognized, it worked better on my desktop, um, not so, it wasn't exactly as great on a laptop, but it recognized all my hardware and installed all the drivers as soon as I installed the operating system. I didn't have to do anything to install anything. So pretty much all my video drivers, all my audio drivers, um, network, Wi-Fi, everything worked right out of the box and recognized all the drivers right out of the box, which I thought was extremely cool. Um, so I didn't have to go searching for Windows 7 drivers. One thing I really wanted to reiterate was how cool this uh, uh, new taskbar really is. So I'm going to show off just a couple things here. Um, so I'm going to do a full screen thing here so I can roll over to see my different windows um, along with uh, doing different things and then if I want to see a different window I can just roll over without actually switching tasks which I think is really really cool. Another thing is if you want you can also um, there's a little button type thing down the right hand corner where you can throw your mouse down there and it'll hide everything and just show the desktop which I think even I mean you can see there's little arrow boxes to see through it works extremely well. Um, one thing I did notice it is didn't integrate I have a couple images here open in Photoshop and it didn't integrate um, the multiple window switching in Photoshop. I'm guessing by the time this is final and um, seeing this is this is CS3, I'm guessing by C, um, with CS4 it would work better. Um, so anyways, just wanted to show a couple things on that.